Hello, this is team number 659 from Chitkara University, Bandi. And here is our project, Automated Soil Irrigation System or Telefarm as we call it. So, this is our project. As you can see, we have used two power sources for our project. This is the relay circuit, which consists of the two relays that controls the motor of the two farms. This is the GSM module that acts as an interface between the main circuit and the user. This is the main circuit, which consists of three Texas ICs. First, L293D, that is the motor driver. Second, MAX232. Third, LM35, that is the temperature sensor. This is the PIC microcontroller that controls the main circuit. This is LCD panel which displays the value of temperature at all times and humidity of the two farms after an interval of about 10 seconds. Here, humidity of first farm is displayed, that is 0%. Now, humidity of second farm appear, that is also 0%. These are the prototype of the two farms in which we have installed two different soil moisture sensor which is made by ourselves and works on the simple principle of voltage division. Now we will show you the working of our project. As the switch circuit is switched on, the user will receive a message on his mobile. You can see. We received a mobile message which displays the temperature and the humidity of both the farm at that point. Since the humidity of both the farms was 0%, the motor is turned on. We have set our circuit in such a way that motors will switch off once the humidity of soil reaches 80%. Now since the humidity of soil is less than 80%, the motor is still on. Now, since the humidity level of first farm has reached 80%, the motor automatically turns off. Now, the humidity of second farm also reaches 80%. So now both the motors has turned off. This was all about the automatic mode of our project. The user can also control this project manually by simply sending text messages through his mobile. For instance, to switch on this motor of farm 1, we'll send hash on 1 at the rate. Now the message is sent. You can see the motor, the motor of farm 1 has switched on. Now to switch off the motor, we will send at the rate star hash of 1 at the rate. As the message is sent, the motor of farm 1 is switched off. Similarly, to turn on the motor of farm 2, we will send hash on 2 at the rate. As the message is sent, the motor of farm 2 is switched on. Now to switch off the motor, we will send hash of 2 at the rate. Now as the message is sent, the motor is switched off. 
to turn on both the motors simultaneously will send the command hash on at the rate. As you can see, on receiving the on command, both the motors are switched on. 2. To switch off the motors, we will send the command hash off at the rate. Again, as the off message received, received by the circuit, both the motors are switched off. User can receive the information about the temperature and humidity of the soil at any time by sending the command hash info at the rate. Now as the command is sent, we will receive info on our mobile. As you can see, the temperature and humidity are displayed here. We can also switch our, mode, switch our circuit back to the automatic mode by sending the command reset. As the reset command is sent, we can see that our controller is resetting. As you saw, we can easily control two farms using this prototype. This was all about our project. Thank you.